Nickel is a very abundant silvery metal with an atomic number of 28, found both on Earth and also in asteroids. Unfortunately though, most of the nickel on Earth is located towards the Earth's core, with less being found in the accessible mantle. Though the bombardment of the Earth by asteroids and comets has meant that there are deposits left by the impacts from space. Where pure nickel is exposed to the air it will slowly form a layer of nickel oxide on the surface while maintaining a pure nickel core. This does mean that most of the naturally mined nickel is actually nickel oxide rather than pure nickel. Some asteroids may contain pure nickel that has been exposed to the Earth's atmosphere. It's kind of protective cover and from oxidization. It's the reason why some new extremely powerful neodymium magnets are covered or plated with nickel. Nickel itself can also be used to create fairly powerful permanent magnets when combined with aluminium and iron. The most common usage of nickel though tends to be in making coins and stainless steel. Now, the use of nickel in making coins and also in cheap or fake jewellery can cause an issue with contact dermatitis in those people who have a nickel allergy. These people may develop a rash or itchy skin in a location which has had prolonged contact with nickel. So for, normally for jewellery, nickel won't actually contain nickel. But as it's a nice, shiny, and very cheap, it's again, someone's going to make a copy of a more expensive piece of jewellery. It makes a convenient alternative to a more expensive metal like silver. The issue of contact dermatitis can also be an issue with shop workers handling a large number of coins each day. Though the infant exposure to nickel is relatively short, during the day, repeated contact with nickel in some coins can create a problem. The way nickel is bonded to stainless steel means that stainless steel doesn't create the same problem for those people who have a nickel allergy. For this reason, some mints, rather than making coins out of cupro nickel alloy, are now covering nickel coins in steel plate so they don't create skin reactions in members of the public. This may mean that some coin operating machines may need some slight adjustments to recognise new coins if and when they're actually introduced. Since nickel will readily form bonds with many other elements, a wide use of compounds and alloys that use nickel create various things including armour plating, boat propellers, turbine blades, rechargeable batteries, toasters and ovens. Ludwig Mond, a German-born British chemist, was the first person to find a way of creating pure nickel by what became known as the Mond process. He set up a company to produce pure nickel from ore imported from Canada. Eventually that company merged with other companies to create ICI. Since nickel is an element, objects containing nickel can be recycled and the nickel recovered and used again. 